been like a week hiatus, I think, due to the Japanese general elections taking over the appraisal slot. I don't know why any other anime wasn't impacted, but this specific one was. Maybe the specific time slot on the TV schedule. Anyways, what's happening? Charlotte popped off. Dropped meteors on them. The magic system is a bit fraudulent because they're just kind of just stocking up potions to see who's going to last out the most. But, you know, Charlotte did clutch for us. Now, um, I forget <laughs> after that, it was basically just that big attack. Let's begin today's reaction. Bald. Serena subjugated. Prisoner of war, hostage. Execute them. Put them to labor. <laughs> I, I was joking there. I, I thought Kuran would be a more, you know, noble person. I, I don't know. We really just can execute them? Yeah, we gotta keep feeding them. No, true. Like, this is like... We, we, like, during war, like, supply routes, making sure that you have enough, you know, supplies to rations to, you know, keep your, you know, troops going. We can't be wasting it on these people. True. The daughter is so based and just straightforward. I feel like she's too important, though. Maybe it would be disrespectful to not kill them because they're they're warriors. They've they're ready for this. But the daughter feels too important. I feel like we shouldn't kill her. Ours, can you figure out a different solution? Wait, you got a different solution? This could be idealistic naivety of a child that's never been in war before. I don't know. I, in a show like this, though, it's not supposed to be realistic, right? It's, you're supposed to have your ideals and to chase after them. Maybe there's an alternative answer. Is it? Take the throne. We would look bad. You can't unite them if we kill them? Hmm. I mean, you could say the same shit about these people here and thinking that they're going to still hold resentment even if we let them alive. I don't know. It, it, maybe if we, if we do the speech, everyone else behind is shocked right now. They, they'll all turn over a new leaf and they'll all be okay with this. But don't you think that these are the liabilities, the resentments that could carry forward? We're going to pay for their food, man. A oh, praise, okay. <laughs> Kill the rest. Okay, hostage exchange. I mean, now you just have to assume that their loyalty that they're swearing, you can just take their word for it. I personally would never take their word for it. It's so easy to just lie, but all right, let's go with it. I'm sure we're not going to get consequences for that. And everyone just turns over a new leaf just like that, huh? We can be allies. We're all united. Definitely shake our heart there. Doki Doki. Woo! God damn, she is so insistent. She really is a warrior. Oh. Maybe the way for Selena is like a uh, reason to live is for Charlotte, this rivalry, the competition. So next time she'll win instead, so she's gonna keep alive for that. True. It's pretty cool. I, I would prefer to have attack over defense magic. Okay, I think there's friendship here, man. Maybe he'll join us. Alright. <laughs> She's... I will die a warrior's death. A life of shame is ahead of me. Charlotte shows up. Wow, your defense magic is so cool. Okay, I'll live now. <laughs> Whatever, I don't really care. A part of me 
Now, this is very twisted. This is very twisted for me to say, but I'm a very twisted person. I want ours to get backstabbed. I want ours to actually have a moment where all his naive idealism backfires because he has gotten away with so much. Even like the episode where we're on the ship, there was like pirates showing up and it's just like, oh, you know, they had their own thing, but you know, can we really trust them? And we let them go and you know, they're supposed to return a favor later on, right? But there's this reiteration theme of like, you know, ours being so kind and always, you know, going the highway up. But is real life really that idealistic? No. But this is not real life. It's a fucking fantasy show. And I'm sure the story will not punish ours for pursuing his ideals. But a part of me is like, motherfucker, I want to see you get backstabbed to see if you truly can be all this white knight shining armor bullshit. <sighs> same. For real. Same. Same. You guys are just twisted just like me, though. Because we're... Because, like, you, you watch me because you're like me. You're also fucked in the head, of course. There's many people that's probably saying, Oh, this is such a positive show. Amazing. <laughs> you're fucking demons, man. How I can't believe you're all wishing the downfall for art. <laughs> <laughs> Who? Bam! <laughs> What's going on, fam? <laughs> Charlotte just meteor it again? Okay. That's the impregnable gate? Okay. Thomas is the ball guy, right? Nice informant, fam. Brain blast. What's he figured out? What's Rosal figured out? And realize that we are currently still nerfed because this girl, she is the really OP one that could solve everything. Yet she's, she refuses to take action. She's coaching Rosal right now. And I'm not saying Rosal is bad by any means, but he's also not the best we have. Right now, we're working with limited like power. And when she gets serious, when she takes over, that's when I think shit's gonna really hit the fan. Can't they, like, take the rest of the troops here and Selena and basically just bolster their defenses? Like, could they not just do that? What, it's dad that's gonna say, okay? I've heard you out. Y'all lost. I'm gonna go join you guys. Is that really gonna happen? He loves his daughter. Hmm? No. Dude, the dad and the daughter are so different. The daughter is like, I must die a warrior's death. And dad's like, oh, I'm so happy you're alive. What the fuck? Man, you used to be way more abusive and toxic back in the day when you gave me this pen. And what happened to that, dude? I need to be abused. Why are you not chastising me? Why are you being so wholesome and supportive? <laughs> this is some fucking peak Stockholm syndrome. What the hell? Oh, I got it. I don't know what's so special about this gate, bro. It just looks like a regular fucking gate to me. Is this truly impregnable? There's only one narrow passage to get there, right? There's a choke point that they can focus on. Whoa. Magic cannons. We're brave warriors. The impregnable gate got off screened. They just ran at it and lifted it up. What? They glazed it. There's no way. It's impregnable for a reason. Bullshit. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's not just bullshit. We infiltrated. That makes a lot more sense. Let's go. Our squad got in there first. 
That makes a lot more sense. Yeah, but you can do it. Ah, oh, that's Jin. That's what Rosa was thinking. He's like, you know, thinking about all these different points of like hostage exchange, you know, the impregnable gate. Wait a minute. We can literally smuggle Fam in with the hostages. That's genius. Are you really gonna fight again? <laughs> Should have killed her. <laughs> what did I tell you? If we just let her go, can she just literally join her dad and just fight against us again? Yeah? What are we gonna do about it? <laughs> I guess we gotta fight her again. Oh wait, we got him first. Wait. Okay. Daddy's girl. Independent that she holds dear. It's surrendering courage? It takes courage to surrender. I'm sure they're gonna figure out some way to pivot this because right now to Serena it probably sounds like stupid that like what? What the fuck? Fight back! Courage! Where's all that? Mm. Vasmark. Because he has things to protect like you. Damn, she is so fucking... She, is so... she drank the Kool-Aid so hard. I felt betrayed. Like, I, I guess because her entire life was seeing father in the glorious battles. But now I guess him backing off a bit and trying to protect what's closest to him. And she's like, what? Go out there and fight, pussy. Uh-oh, slap, slap, slap incoming. No slap. Yeah, they're really cooking with Serena, man. I thought that she was done last arc or last episode and it's just gonna wrap it up, but like, damn, the whole backstory is the conflict between father and daughter? Oh, oh, even Thomas says it's over, man. Something dirty incoming. I don't feel good about this. Sacrifice? Thomas's plan. What is it? Yeah, they're gonna suicide bomb this shit. Jesus. Really? Really? No, you can't evacuate. If you evacuate, it's not realistic. They need to have their guard down by having human meat sacks around. Yep. This is, this is a wick. But I am sure, right? I am sure that our alcoholic big sis has seen this through because she calls him little bro. I'm sure she figured something out for this. Yeah. Platitudes of the week. That's a good counter. Challenging someone's honor, saying it's cowardly and saying it's platitudes of the week. You talk about honor when you're always so weak. That's a good counter, huh? Ooh. Wait, losers? But you planned this shit. Thomas, wasn't this all your plan? I'm not sure who strategized all this shit, but I feel like you should go down with the shit, bro. You planned this shit. Who cares? My name's... I'm not gonna be there to fucking learn it. What a way to do mental gymnastics to say that this is honor. She's gonna listen to Aris's words. 
セリーナわかりましたトーマス様お前は物分かりがいいあるぞうう彼らを守らないでどうするのだすいませんおトーマス様に We underestimated the dad. Everybody is just subverting my expectations. Damn, the dad saw that through. Thomas Savani. One second, one second. Technical difficulty. Let's go. Thomas Savani. Stagai na ga liochi no tame to omoi. Ima mate stagatte maeri mashita ga. これでは本末転バサマーク様の機嫌などは私にとってどうでも良いことですがとは father locked in できませんおお、that's the father I know <laughs> no we won't you'll regret this instead Thomas see you in a couple episodes bald bald <laughs> the fellow Bald guard. God, I wonder if Thomas sent even an order. Is Baldi just, you know, vouching for the other Baldi right now? Oh shit, Dad! I mean, he was a warrior, right? Yo, that dad's so cool? <gasps> Father! Daughter! And their family conflict is resolved. Damn. That was so concise and fast. Like this show's pacing is really fast, I think, but it, it does settle everything in a really concise way. In like the span of one episode, it's just like her issues with dad about how he kind of like fell off and you're no longer this strong warrior, you know, that I remember. And she's like, I want to go for Valhalla. This is, this is a life of shame and the dad's still there. And she realizes through the words of ours that this is the right path. Things are looking pretty good. Let's do it. Here we go. Execute him. <laughs> What do you mean by that? Okay. I thought you meant she's gonna like backstab us. Bald. What's your plan, Thomas? Oh, right. The bomb still should be in there. Forgot about that. We can't. Oh, what the fuck? He got another detonator. Holy shit. No, 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 no. I wonder. Maybe Mireil thought us through. Maybe Selena is like a shield magic will prevent this. I think that there's gonna be a way to botch this plan. Th that's a. That's the opposite. Bam clutch? They saw it through. Ours had no clue. Ours had no fucking clue. Yo, fam is clutching so hard today. Assassin informant. Rosal saw it through. Today's episodes, it's all about Rosal and fam, huh? I mean, Selena's importance, but like, they clutch hard. All fam cares about is the bag. Because you're unnecessary, Ars. Okay, sure. いくら相手の立場になって考えると言っても君だったでしょ。でも君はこの短期間で。Good mentorship relationship between these two. But the more I watch, the more I realize that Ars is actually just the biggest fraud. He didn't do shit. 
Everyone else around him, and that's the whole point of the story. He appraises, he collects powerful pieces around him, they solve his problem, and he goes on to some idealistic fucking bullshit, and then the rest of his, you know, pawns and figure out a way to make the idealistic bullshit happen to reality. But it's funny that, like, the leader himself is just casually left behind at all the important shit. He has no clue what's going on. Partially because, obviously, what Russell said, but don't you think a competent leader wouldn't be burdened with such a thing like that? I don't know. I feel like they're undermining ours right now, and on top of that... What else is I gonna say? I'm just trying to figure out more fucking R slander. I don't know why. It's because this show is too fucking positive and wholesome and like, you know, R's is ideal naivism and he gets away with fucking everything. Yeah. <laughs> but now it's different, father. It's valuing it. Is being like a defensive thing, rather than fighting and killing, having the courage to protect. Father-daughter relationship saved. Wow. Honestly, I don't even think that this is forced or cringe. I actually did enjoy a lot of like Selena and her dad's like you know backstory and the quick you know. Um, concise conclusion where they redeemed all that shit. It's a nice, you know, vessel of the story because, like, they're not that important in terms of the war, but in this small skirmish, because it is like their castle that we're dealing with to have like a story like that be portrayed in a concise way, it's nice. <laughs> now what? Oh shit, rumors, gossip. They're all glazing him. Words going out. Oh shit. Yo, what is up with this demon lord looking dude? Vast mark, man. I swear to god, this place is permanently just like this weather. Maybe if we take it back, we you know recover it, the clouds will like clear up. But like it is so comically funny how this shit's just like demon lord vibes, lightning strikes happening, wine glass he's fucking holding, everything just dark and moody. What's you gonna do, bro? And that's another episode of Appraisal Lisa Guy coming back after a hiatus, and it was nice to conclude the whole you know, Vas, uh, what's it called? Wakumaku, I don't even know what the fuck these names are, but we, we took care of it. And the whole theme of this story was related around Selena and her dad, their misunderstandings, what the definition of courage means, rather than, you know, destroy and, you know, fighting and fighting, it's all about protecting, and it's kind of funny that her magic power, because it's all about defense rather than attacking, what Charlotte said about how I can only attack but you can defend, but her entire personality trait was all about attack, 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 but later she learned how to sheath the sword in the second sense of courage. I think that Rots Rosal definitely clutched. Mirelle is still just coaching. She's still benched, which I think is very interesting. They're definitely saving her for some really important shit in the future. And Fam. Fam and Rosal, I think, are MVPs. The dad had a really cool moment too, for sure, for sure. Thomas got fucking dunked on. And Vasmar. I think that we are taking too many dubs, right? Uh, are we just gonna keep steamrolling? I think there should be some back and forth to kind of keep it close and maybe next episode or something because of the look that we're getting they're gonna get some dubs and we're gonna look kind of bad but we'll get a quick redemption and we'll wrap it up maybe that's it from me if you're still here though and if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for even more content and until next time take care